Hi, in this video, we'll be looking at using expressions to add bilingual labels to a map. Expressions gives you complete control over the design of your map. And this is just one of the many ways in which you can use it. So let's get started. Let's start by opening Mapbox Studio and creating a new map using the basic style template. You can use the search bar to browse to your preferred location. I'm headed to Tokyo, where I'd like to test a map with Japanese and English labels. The various style components lets you quickly set the preferred language of the labels. Open the place label component and set the default language as Japanese. You can see the labels in the map have become Japanese. This is great, but we want the English labels as well as the Japanese ones for a bilingual map. We can use expressions to control this behavior and set this in each individual map layer. To access the map layer, click on one of the Japanese labels and identify the label layer it belongs to. This opens the layer settings and we can see the expression formula that is currently used to render the Japanese labels. The coalesce function uses the value from the first data field that is available, either the Japanese field or the local name. Let's edit this to combine this value with that of the English data field. This expression is locked since it is controlled by the style component. And by clicking the override button, we can make the formula editable for our custom expression. Move the cursor to the end of the formula and insert the ampersand to combine this value with another value. We can now insert the data field for the English labels from the list of available fields. That's it. We now have bilingual labels. We can also combine arbitrary text by typing it directly in the formula editor. For example, we can add a line break for a neater result. Now let's copy over this expression to the other label layers. To do this, switch to the JSON editor. This gives you access to the full JSON expression. You can copy this and repeat this process for the other layers. Hit override, switch to the JSON view and replace the expression. And you can see each layer is getting updated with the bilingual labels. To explore the various expression functions available, check the available help and the documentation. Once you apply your bilingual expression to all the layers, your final map should look like this.